first card I've picked, when it comes to love and relationships, what is the first lesson you want to teach your children? Integrity. What you say is what you do. You find that there are a couple of guys who they are different when they are with friends, different at work, and uh, different at home, so you, it becomes very difficult. It starts telling you that there's something wrong with your integrity. So if you want to be happy in life, be self-aware and have integrity. Two and a half years ago, um, we had this activity to do with V-Power, and I kept on asking myself, how do I move a product from, from it being a functional to become an emotional connection? That's when I stumbled on an interesting gentleman called Joseph. He had come in to pitch um, to put a couple of ads at Capital. Our first activity was to do a drive. It was, uh, it was a drive to, to uh, Machacos. And um, I was so impressed by, by how the whole team just came together to solve the current problem of the day. And it, it, came, it ended up being one of those amazing activities. So that was the beginning of the journey with Capital. Access, professionalism, consistency, and also availability. You tend to find a lot of people who have good ideas and they want to impose them on you. Um, and I have no problem with that, but it then has to be something that makes sense to my clientele, my customers. So um, Capital has this ease of being able to, to make sure that whatever ideas they have, they tend to mix it with that which you want to achieve and communicate it to the customer in that, in that room. So yeah. <laughs> what was the last thing you learned that made a big impact on you or an aha moment that I have no time. It's, it's remarkable how many times you, you say, can we meet up with a friend? It's remarkable how many times you think about what, how long does a customer need to be served at a station? It's, it's amazing how much time I spend with family and ask myself, is it, is it enough? Is it too little? So for me, the, the biggest realization is that I have no time. Nobody has any time. So the empowering part to that statement is then, I then start making choices as to what is this thing that I need to do and I cannot you know, um, discount, I cannot you know, dilute. Um, and it has changed how I look at you know, branding as, a, uh, as in, I mean, in terms of marketing, in terms of how I relate to the people I relate to, my friends and family because you never get that moment again. From the time we meet up to engage, because I have this idea of we will have our briefs typed down. And then when we are delivering this, the, the brief to the agency, we then call them in for that engagement. So as soon as we have that meeting with, um, with the capital team, it's, it, it makes life so easy. Because after that, they know exactly what it is that you're trying to achieve. They then we then ask ourselves, what does the customer need? And what is this that we can be able to coin and, and master and create that would serve both our purpose and that of the customer? And then capital always brings in that, you know, that extra spice. So um, after that, all you receive is this brief of, of, of these you know, fantastic people who come to your office and they present to you what is this, that, what is this big idea that they have? And then boom. You, you create it and you, and you execute. Yeah, so it's fairly straightforward. What's your ideal vacation? Wow, this is a good one. Um, it needs to have sun. <laughs> it needs to have a little bit of adventure. I love the outdoors. Um, and for me, if it, it has to, there must be some element of thrill, some element of excitement, some element of, you know, um, it's, I'm not too sure about the outcome. So if, it's, if it includes jumping off planes, if it includes um, you know, chasing a certain type of you know, animal in the bush, um, if it includes you know, crazy roads and water view, I love it. But in the end, give me some sun, <laughs> give me some relaxation. When it comes to, doing, to pushing the bar to make sure that we are able to communicate to a specific clientele or segment, um, Kenya has always been at the forefront. So when you talk about the prank, which to me first and foremost is an amazing concept and what of you, we had to be so sure that at no point in time would you ever dilute what the, what the brand is about. So as much as we, we love the idea that we have to connect with the customer, I still have to remember that there's somebody who pays my bills. Yes. Okay. 
What is the number one thing in your life that you are not doing that you wish you were? Quite frankly, making babies. <laughs> yes. Um, anyway, uh, my goal right now is to be able to. You no, know, I think I think every single thing that I choose to do, I'm already doing. I, I don't have a single thing that I that I'm planning to do and I haven't done. No, no, no. I'm good. Um, if if I answer that, then I'll have to put them in a, to a lot of trouble. <laughs> no, not when I'm inside it. <laughs> okay, if you could be any person for a day, who would it be? Um, this is going to be sound a little bit cliche. I would have loved to be Obama just for a day. There's, there's, uh, there's an element between integrity and power and delivery that, that he used to master. He was, he's one of the most humble, yes, courageous, yes, yet powerful people I've, I've seen. And reading his story and watching him at play right now, I mean, back in the day, up until this moment, um, is quite something. Oh, absolutely. Um, the campaign did not only deliver in terms of um, our goals and our targets, the, object, the main objectives, and meet our business goals, but it also helped to send just that extra emotional uh, you know, need that that thing that every single one of our customers needed to hear at the time. So we are more than glad and happy that 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 we carried it out. And of course, through your support, it just came out with an extra twist. What is a piece of advice you you often give but find yourself struggling to follow? I normally don't talk about you know um, you know diets and, and foods and what have you, but I talk a lot about discipline. But if there is something which I struggle with, is um, every time I'm on my fourth week of a diet. There's always that, that, you know, that particular um, snack that gets me. Uh, and normally it's, it's actually a, a, a salted caramel shake. I, I, I don't know how, but I can't keep myself off it. So yeah, yes. Simply. That's it, yes. <laughs> what are you most passionate about? I'm very passionate about integrity. What I say is what I do. It's not, it's not something that I would say that I consistently make it, but it's something that I've been able to learn and see how much it can be able to serve me as a human being and also me as a son, me as a, a brother, me as a leader, and me as, you know, as, as, as God's child. And I know if any time I, I get myself out of it, I struggle.